In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do a stockpile volume using Trimble SiteWorks. So to get started, you want to create a new work order. And to do that, you're going to go to the menu button, project setup, change project. And on the second line here, work order, you're going to hit the plus button to add a new work order. So you want to do that to segregate your data from anything else that you may have uh, done in this project. And then you're going to choose a design or you can choose no design needed and then hit accept. So it's going to take us out to the main screen and then we could go ahead and start um, measuring the toe of slope on this stockpile. So to do that, you want to go over to your measure type button and you're going to change it from point to a new line. And we're going to name this line toe and we're going to change this to a volume boundary. So this is the key here to do a volume calculation. You need to start with a volume boundary to define the outside edge of that boundary and hit accept. And now we can start measuring our toe slope. So we just want to walk around the edge and take as many shots as we think is necessary to define this toe slope all the way around. When you go to do the, the calculation, the program will close the boundary for you, but you could hit this button here and this will automatically close the boundary for you. And then we can get set up for shooting the top of slope. So when we go to shoot the top of slope, we want to change our measure type from a volume boundary to a break line. So we go back up to our measure type and we're going to change this to top of slope and we're going to change this to a break line. And this will set us up for our top of slope. And we can go ahead and start measuring the top of slope. So we want to walk along the edge of the top of slope and get as many shots as we need here to define the top of slope as best we can. And we just want to make sure when we get to the end, we don't want to cross the volume boundary that we already did. And then we can just add some points to this. So we could just put another break line down the middle if we wanted to, but I'll just show you how you can add some points. So just go back over to your measure type and go back to the point. And we'll just choose these um, as top points too. And we're going to say point type is surface and then show every time we could just say no. And then we can just go ahead and we can take some shots um, on the flat part of this pile. So you can take as many shots here as you want. I'll just take a couple. And then once we get these shots done, we can go ahead and compute the volume. So to do that, we're going to go up to the menu and we're going to go to Kogo and review and edit data. And by default, it's going to go to the compute volume and it's going to ask us to select the boundary here. So you can see that the volume boundary that we shot at the toe of slope is kind of highlighted here. So we want to tap that with our finger. It's going to highlight it. It's going to ask us what type of uh, volume do we want to do. So you can do a stockpile. Um, you can also do measure to an entered elevation. So if your stockpile is sitting on the building pad or something like that, you can key that in or you can measure it to your design if you have a design loaded. So we're just going to do a simple stockpile here. Um, we're not going to put in a, a expansion factor. We'll just leave that at zero and we can go ahead and hit accept. Okay, so it's going to give us a place to put a description. So in here you can put in, you know, call this whatever you want. This could be um, topsoil excess or something like that. And then it's going to give us our total volume here. So you can see there's no cut, but they do have a fill in here of 17,287 cubic yards. It gives you the area and the perimeter and the surface area, and it tells you what your boundary was. So if you go ahead and hit accept here, it's going to write this to your work order, or um, if there's a new feature here. This little uh, tablet icon here is going to make us um, 
do a PDF report. So if you click on this, it's going to set you up for a PDF report. So you can just type in here. Um, we'll just call this excess topsoil pile. And you can put in here um, anything you want um, for a comment. And then it's if you have um, a controller, you could take a photo of this um, with your camera. So if you type, if you tap this camera icon, it's going to open up your camera and it's going to allow you to take a picture or up to three pictures here of the stockpile. So I already went ahead and, and has some pictures ready. So if you have pictures somewhere on your computer or on a USB stick, you can actually just load those as well. So I'm going to hit this button here to browse out to my C drive on my tablet. And you can see this is the path where the photos get um, save to. So this would be in your work order folder, the name of your work order folder, then there's a folder called media. So in this case, I already have two photos in here. So I'm going to choose the stockpile one JPEG, hit accept. It gives me a preview of the stockpile. I can hit accept and I'm going to add a second one. So you can either take the picture um, right at the moment, or if you have the photo, I'm going to choose the folder icon here. I'm going to grab stockpile number two and this is my second photo hit accept and then I can just hit save and now this is going to save this PDF report to my work orders output folder so I'll show you where that goes in a second so just hit OK and then I'm going to hit accept here to save this to my work order so I'm pretty much done with the stockpile here I got all my information that I need and it's going to take me back out to the main screen and then if I open up if I go into the C drive on my tablet and I open up this output folder, so you can see I'm in the, the name of the work order, go into the output folder, and then here is the PDF output. So if I open this up, it's going to open up my Adobe Reader here, and it's going to show me the actual report that was created. So you can see here um, the date, time, any of the information in my work order. I have the two pictures at the top and then my uh, volume computation here at the bottom. So that's how you do a stockpile volume in Trimble SiteWorks.